You know, this town is one that is full of influences. There are things everywhere trying to get your attention as a, a staffer or a member of Congress. Everything here speaks. Uh, some of those are good voices and some of those are not good voices. I thought I'm just going to go on a prayer walk. And I walked and I went into the Hart Building on the Senate side and I walked and I walked every hallway in the Hart Building. And I thought, you know what, I'm going to walk every stairwell. And I ended up doing Dirksen. I thought, you know what, I'm going to knock Russell out too. And then I thought, you know, I'm going to walk to the Capitol. And I got to the Cannon Tunnel and I started walking towards the Cannon Building. And I realized, like, this was game on. I was going to keep walking. And I'd finished that day and I'd walked, uh, I'd walked a long way, uh, a little over 33 miles. And the Lord spoke and he said, I want you to help gather people. It's groups of people who are gathering together to encourage each other who work in this building, who understand the dynamics, who understand the pressure of what goes on in this building. And I texted Sean uh, about it and he said, we're looking to expand ministry in DC, let's talk. And literally like three days later, we made a deal for this house. Uh, and then Camp Allah was born. And we're gonna use Allah as this rallying point for the hill that we can pump new life into the city and into the capital. This is gonna be a very specific mission. Uh, we're gonna go after uh, the Lord's heart in the United States Capitol. And Allah is gonna be this little camp, this little outpost, this little piece of ground that's a block away from the heart building uh, that we're gonna operate out of. And we're gonna see some life change, we're gonna see Jesus glorified, and we're gonna see some new things happen, and heaven's gonna come down and just saturate this place.